three main ways to apply your design to your fabric and today I'm going to show you the prick and pounce method. Here we have it. So we've got a very simple heart design there. You're just going to put the tracing paper over the top and I'm taking a Sakura Micron pen to trace the outline of the heart. There we go. Really simple design there. Okay, so what you need to do next is just take your tracing paper. You can see the heart is perfectly on there. And then we need to have a pad which is absorbent to the pricker. Okay, so I'm just using um, a piece of carpet felt and felt. And that will take the pricker through. So you can see when I start doing it, it just goes straight through that fabric. And because obviously if you're doing it directly onto the wood, you wouldn't get the holes along the lines, which is really important. Those, those holes are what you need when you're doing your uh, prick and pounds method. So this is my pricker. This is one of our uh, brass prickers that we have on the web. I'll just show you that in more detail in a minute when I've pricked all the way around. And that's, so that's our little brass pricker. It has a lovely little uh, lid on there as well with a little um, ring that you can attach to anything. Okay, so that's our design pricked on our tracing paper. So what we need to do next is we need to put that on top of our fabric. So I'm just going to bring my frame in just here. Okay, and we're just going to... You'd normally pin this on, but obviously I'm doing it really quickly today just to show you, just for demonstration purposes. So I've got my pounce um, just here. I'll put it over there so you can see it on the screen. And I've got my pounce pad. And this is just one that I've made with um, some felt. So I've folded some felt over and I've just wrapped it around and around. And then I've strung it together and bound it with the string quite tightly. So you need to just dip your pounce, your pounce pad into your pounce so that you've got some uh, pounce powder on there. And then you're just going to rub that pounce into those holes. If you do pin it on, then obviously you'll know exactly where it is and it won't slip either uh, because you don't want it to slip so I'm just going to take that off and there you have it so you've got your little dots of pounce through that um, through the tracing paper through the holes in the tracing paper now I'm just going to take this um, metallic fabric paint and um, because the traditional method of applying it on the fabric is to actually paint it on I'm um, just going to put the top just there so that I can just catch that paint in. Okay, so I've got a, a finish paintbrush, but it would be advisable to get a finer one. But for demonstration purposes, it's much, much better if you use a thicker one. So I'm going to do quite thick lines, but again, if you're actually doing it in real life, for yourself you'd want to make sure that those lines are quite fine and but you can see here that it's very very noticeable now you can also um, draw this on with um, a gel pen so you can use a gel pen to draw that on and that's very effective as well this is quite a thick um, brush so as I said, you would want to use a finer brush. You wouldn't want to use one quite as thick as this, um, but it's perfect for my demonstration so that you can easily see what I'm doing there. Okay, and there it is. There's your design on your fabric. And that's the prick and pounce method.